Hey everybody, I'm Melody Pittman and I'm coming at you today. It's my first attempt at making a podcast. So anyway, I'm very glad you're here. My podcast is going to be 100 Things WV for West Virginia because I'm writing a book about 100 things to do in West Virginia before you die. It's part of a national book series and I'm so excited to be showcasing the state of West Virginia, which I grew up and spent 44 years in. We won't discuss my age, but I lived in Florida for 10 years. I now live in Nevada, and I'm thrilled to be one of the uh, co-authors writing this book and sharing my love of West Virginia to you. As I mentioned, I'm Melody Pittman. I live in Mesquite, Nevada, outside of Las Vegas, but I'm from West Virginia, and I'm very mad and passionate about the Mountain State. So I've traveled my whole life. Like literally I grew up wanting to travel and seeing the world. Um, I'd probably been to New York City a hundred times before I was 22 years old. Uh, I traveled big. And when I was around 40 years old, I had two children and I decided, you know what, instead of taking them to big cities, I'm going to introduce them to the state we live in, West Virginia. And there were so many beautiful things and I really fell in love with the outdoors and with nature and road tripping. So anyway, West Virginia is very near and dear to my heart. Now, organically, Since I've been a traveler my whole life, I fell into travel blogging eight years ago. My blog is wherever I may roam, blog.com. I also have a second blog, travelthesouthbloggers.com, where I have some vetted writers that write for our publication about 10 states in the South. So I write for other publications, and anytime I get the chance to share my love of West Virginia with readers, followers, people I meet while traveling, people at a dinner conversation, it doesn't matter. I tell them the best places to go all over the world, but West Virginia is like one of my, like I said, near and dear to my heart places. With this book, 100 Things to Do in West Virginia Before You Die, I'm thrilled to be sharing places that I love and know that you will love in West Virginia that you might not think of. West Virginia is always promoting whitewater rafting, maybe the state capitol, WVU, Marshall football, things of this nature, and some outdoor activities. And they're like really, really die hard outdoor activities. But there's something in West Virginia for everyone. You don't have to be a great extreme sports enthusiast to love West Virginia. You can be a foodie. You can be a culture lover, history. There's so many things to do in West Virginia. We have mountain stage. That's one of the greatest things ever. So I can't wait to show you some things to see and do in West Virginia that you might not have thought of before. So as I mentioned, I've been a travel blogger and writer for eight years for my own publication, wherever I may roam blog.com and also for many other publications. If you've ever picked up a real estate travel guide in Charleston, it's a magazine called Charleston Home and Living. I have a weekend traveler segment in there where I tell you some places to go just to have fun from Charleston within about a six hour radius. Sometimes they're in West Virginia, sometimes not, but you can see from these magazine articles that there are a lot of great reasons to love living in West Virginia and the cities that you can reach within just a short drive. I also write for Traveling Mom, Travel Awaits, uh, many other publications and have social media channels that I share all my travels on, but it's really special when I get to write or share West Virginia. So 100 Things to Do in West Virginia Before You Die is part of a national book series that Reedy Press put out. And I was so excited to land the West Virginia book. And it's not only a great book, but it also has color pages in the middle. So I'm really partial to that because it's not just black and white photos. The color photos of some of the landscape in West Virginia really just jump off the page and will make a lover before you've even been to these places. So the book has a special format and the format is about six different sections. It's entertainment and music, culture, history, recreation, sports, food and drink, shopping, And then we created a special category for this book called Uniquely West Virginia, because many of our attractions in the Mountain State do not fit into a box as other places might. So really excited that we have our own little special category. And uh, like, as I mentioned, there's a hundred things. That doesn't mean there's only 100 things listed in the book. There's actually uh, a few categories, maybe about 10, that share multiple things. For example, if you like breweries, I might mention a brewery or two. And then on another page, I might mention six others that you have to go to. In West Virginia, we have two different kinds of food that are very popular. We have Italian food and we have hot dogs. Those are both very mountain state. So I've listed my favorite of both of those categories. And then I've listed a place where you can also get a a great one on the opposite page. So it's not just 100 things, but we did have to put a cap on 100 things for the book series. And maybe the places you know and love didn't make the book. I can only put 100 things in the book basically. Maybe that opens the door for a second book, but I would love to hear from you. If you have some place that doesn't make the book, I'm happy to hear from you and maybe consider putting that in next time.
So as I told you earlier, this is my first attempt at podcasting. And so I'm actually sitting in a room at a library. I have a great library in my town. And so I'm sitting in a room. It's about 100 degrees in here, literally. I am burning the heck up. The walls are white. Lighting is kind of bad. So anyway, I apologize for the background because I live in one of the most beautiful places. The ski Nevada is so beautiful, surrounded by mountains. And just it's just absolutely gorgeous. But here we are in this room. So back to the book. I'm a co-author of 100 Things to Do in West Virginia. The other person writing this book with me is Angie Richards. Angie Richards is a friend of mine since sixth grade. We've gone to school together since sixth grade. We grew up in East Bank, West Virginia, home of Jerry West. Woo. If you know who Jerry West is, good for you. And if you don't know, bad, bad, bad. Angie and I have been lifelong friends. We've traveled the world together. We've been on lots and lots of cruises. We've done Viking cruises in Europe. We've been through Canada and New England. And Angie's the kind of friend that when I'm in town, I always see her. We meet up around the country. And she's the kind of friend that literally flew from Charleston, West Virginia to Orlando, not a direct flight, I might add, to then ride in a car with me for eight to nine hours to get to Asheville so that we could stay at the Grove Park Inn. Yeah, that kind of friend. I heard about this book opportunity and I wanted to write this book for Reedy Press. I wanted to write about West Virginia and I wanted to be the one to showcase West Virginia because I know it and love it so much, but I had to have a co-author. And so Angie just immediately sprang to mind. And so I call Angie and uh, like I said, we went to school together and I say, hey, Angie, did you ever want to write a book? And Angie says, nope. <laughs> and so Angie's a reader also. And I said, ah, oh, but you know, like you read so much, wouldn't you like to see your name on a book? Nope. And so I'm you know, trying to figure out my next uh, method of how I'm going to get her to say yes. And she says, what do you need from me, Melody? And I said, oh, here's what I need. And so sure enough, she was in. So Angie's the perfect candidate because she travels all over West Virginia. She knows like all the nooks and crannies, all the back roads. Uh, she travels for work and she and her family travel to lots of outdoor spaces. Um, they might rent a cabin over in Pocahontas County and just sit by the river bringing all kinds of food like this family knows how to travel or they might go to spruce knob and go hiking or go take pictures and videos of gazing at the stars she's a perfect candidate and we are going to have so much fun traveling west virginia and doing a book tour together here's how you can follow along on our adventures for 100 things to do in west virginia before you die you can pre-order the book through readypress.com r-e-e-d-y P-R-E-S-S dot com. And you can either in the search field, just put West Virginia. I think that's the only book about West Virginia. Or you can go to readypress.com slash shop slash and then spell it out. 100 things to do in West Virginia before you die with a dash in between every word. And West Virginia is not abbreviated. Or you can follow us on our social channels. We are on Instagram and on Facebook at 100 capital T things capital W capital V. 100 things WV on Facebook and on Instagram. If you are a retail shop, a bookstore, a library, and you would like to carry our book, you can contact us or you can go directly through Reedy Press. I know there is a discount whenever you buy in bulk and the shipping is free if you order from Reedy Press. Or you can contact us through our email, 100thingswv at gmail.com. Again, 100thingswv at gmail.com to schedule book events, book signings. Uh, we're going to have a couple of presentations that we're going to be doing all around the state. We're going to start that around April 1st. That's when our book should be in and ready to go. We'll have an unveiling party and things uh, and run through the summer. So a few things I'm excited about. I can't wait to go to Van the Vandalia Gathering. I went last year for the first time in a very long time and it was just such a great fit. So I can't wait to hopefully do a book signing there maybe up in Spencer for the 4th of July celebration. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of great book events planned and you can actually see those on our Facebook page as well.